Hey, 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 my name is Paul Slings and welcome to Don't Forget Our Esports Dream. We are continuing already as a member of a team. But I'm, I'm not sure. Are we participating in this tournament? Uh, anyway, KPGA and Productions Tuffers pack the studio in preparation for tonight. It's no surprise. Tonight is the last semi-final match before the grand final. Fear fi uh, Fierce fights the winner. Either another Protoss named Ors, Zero RZ, or whatever, or Shink. The audience won't fill until later tonight, leaving plenty of time for interviews or other production needs. I'm surprised to see that the journalist is about our age. Tight slacks and a starty shirt pin him as someone trying to take the job seriously. He writes for a popular esports site. For the traffic comes more for the discussions than the articles. This is slightly embarrassing. Huh? What? That I'm here? No way. Plus, I'm interested in what he will ask you. I've done this a million times back before I took my hiatus. It's always the same. If it's not just an excuse to post picture of me alongside the ramp article, so the nerds will click, it will be the same tired questions. They either want me to just justify the failure of other women, or vilify people who don't deserve it. Why can't they just ask me what they ask players like fears? You have to be fierce if you want people to phone on your every musing. Then why bother interviewing me in the first place? Because you have a unique perspective. And personality. Uh, okay, because you're a girl. Just shut up and don't interrupt. I follow her only so far as the front row when they move closer to the booths at the back. It's possible for me to hear them both, for I can only see Jet. They exchange small talk for a bit until the interviewer dives in head first. So, let's start with the obvious. Why did you decide to come back to pro gaming? Even though I haven't been on team for the past year, I played StarCraft every day and continue to make me my living with it, so I'm not sure I ever really left. I see, I see, then maybe it's better to ask why you left your team last year. I don't recall hearing from you in any interviews at the time. After a year and a half, I stopped enjoying my role on the shock team and wanted to take some time for myself. That's really it. And now that's changed? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm trying to focus on myself as a player above anything else. I see, I see, stepping out of the personality role. Should we not expect to see the same jet as before? What about the 2 versus 2 or female only tournaments? Well, I haven't really thought about it. I wouldn't be a guy either, but it's not what I'm thinking about right now. What about the commercials? You were a big part of the shock T1 uh, a year ago. To go from an icon to a prax partner begs plenty of questions. Like I said, I'm trying to stay out of the spotlight until I'm ready. Okay, shifting gears. What are your goals for the imminent future? I'd like to qualify for XSL next season, or the season after that at least latest. I also like to maintain a 70 hour practice week until then. It's quite ambitious, but with the facilities and teammates of Shorty One, I'm certain you can succeed. There have been rumors that the StarCraft 2 beta might release next year. Do you plan to give it any attention? <sighs> it depends on how our scene embraces it. And if I find it fun, I haven't planned it yet, so it's unclear if I'd be in a better at it than I am at Broad War. But I'm excited to see how foreign players fare. The first start might add some much needed worldwide competition to StarCraft Esports. Speaking of you recently attended Ice Age in China, were you happy with your performance? Uh, I wasn't. Zen is decent, but I played like Crash. I want to ask everyone not to underestimate me based on the performance. I hope to show that in Team League soon. Shifting gears! Why are you using this term again? Aside from a few notable exceptions, women aren't typically seen at top level in sports. Why do you think that is? I had a conversation about that with a friend of mine recently that changed my outlook a little, for I can't remember her exact assertions off the top of my head. More of us have to want to be programmers. For that we need role models. But honestly, maybe it's better that we don't have them. Can you explain that? Well, this life is really hard. If I can convince someone not to want it, I'd spare them a lot of suffering. 
<laughs> That's true. Maybe someday I'll be worth looking up to. Until then, all I can do is focus on improving. I hope it's okay for someone in my position to say that. I see, I see. Then, is it realistic for someone in your position to accomplish a Star League Championship? Chai Young does move. It's all silence between them for almost 5 seconds. Yeah, do you want me to repeat that? <sighs> Don't know. Hope so. Well, if any woman at all is a future Star League Champion, it's you! That's everything I got to ask. Do you have any questions before I let you go? Jet rises. He has his answer in her departure. Where are going? Sure, sure. Want to get lunch before we go to the store? No, we park. Are you coming or not? Of course I am. She doubles over, each heavy breath billowing out into the morning chill. I gap down the cold morning air, like muscles roaring in the fire and yet eager for more. <sighs> Let's do it. We tear our way back around the horseshoe path for the third time. I leave her behind it, keep her there. Chai Young's heavy breathing, the only thing that lets me know she's following at all. A minute before the sidewalk ends and the grass begins, a crank the concrete catches the two of Jet's shoe and she falls hard. I skip to a stop, watching as she catches herself on the way down. Momentum carries her another stride and tears her palms and elbows. It's crowded in the park given the time of day. We catch a few stars, I crouch down and turn an to her. Oh god, how are your fingers? Shh, I'm fine, it's just a scrape. She knows her, uh... She knows me, her aberration with a derisive look, as if I can even feel this, her face says. Do you want to stop? At least go wrap the top or something. No, let's keep going. It only took three trips for me to regain something resembling the stamina I had a year ago. We start out close, but by the end she just can't keep up. I can hear at least two full strides behind me once I pass the hallway point. We are trying to rub it in, I let up the gas. Her rank briefing grows near, but not in time to close the gap. I turn to see if Chai Young wants another, but she's already lined back up. <sighs> Last one. Uh, alright. Chai Young hears through her teeth and comes down. Three, two, one! I push off the ground, sore but alive with adrenaline. Before I know how much to kit up, I want to see Jet's pace. She pulls ahead right away, but not by much. I could leave her in a cloud of sweat and dust, but that's not what I do. I keep us neck and neck as we round the halfway point. It's only once the end is inside that I kick in full speed. I take two last five or six rides hard enough that I overrun the finish by almost 10 meters. That felt good. What's your problem? Jet takes my jacket in a vice with both hands. Winded as I am, I don't offer resistance when she pulls me down to her hive. I feel her arms trembling. For whether it's from emotional exhaustion, it's hard to know. The hell are you doing? Get off! But she holds tight when I stand and try to push her away. In her desperate anger, she shakes me twice and pulls me back down. Jet exits and moves, or maybe a lifetime's frustration. Do you think you're better than me? Jet, we're in the public. Stop. Everything is fine. It's not. It's an insult. Then don't get mad that you're losing. Why? So you don't have to feel any guilt. Fuck you. Make it hurt. How am I supposed to know you aren't doing the same thing when we practice now? Let go. Don't do that to me again! And don't ask me to apologize! I don't want us to fight, talk to me! That's all you need to do! Will you tell me everything is okay even if it's not? Uh, I'm so far from what I want, yet I'm told that it's fine. No one expect me to expects me to succeed. I'm scared that I'll believe it myself someday. Okay, I care about you, Chai Young, but if you break our pact, I won't forgive you. I'm not talking about that, not really. You are, just like you said, give it your all or don't play. I am. You're the one who slowed down. I hate you sometimes. Stop comparing yourself to others. As if you don't, then why race at all? I just run time trials if that was true. I haven't figured that out yet, maybe because it's more fun with someone to chase or nip at your heels. You get second at ICG and two wins in Team week, and now you think you've got the other to tell me what to do and think? The worst part is that you actually do have it. Winners get to decide what's right. Do they deserve it? 
It does matter if they do or not. That's what I'm mad about. Don't try to turn this around on me. This was your fault. Okay, I won't pull any punches again. I promise you that. <laughs> That's all I ask. I take it back. I want one more lap. Uh, oh. She's so competitive. <laughs> God damn it. Huddle up, review time, boys. Bleary eyed and groaning, most of the team pulls itself away from the trays of cutter food plates in hand. The scent of sizzling pork, sausages, dumplings, kimchi, and green beans wafts throughout the practice area. The, first, the, uh, the differences between CHB Renown and Shakti 1 don't stop at team management and coaching styles, or even at the quality of food. The separation of living and working quarters sets expectations for how everyone is supposed to spend their time. Video chatting with a girlfriend you've been neglecting? Save it for the team house. 3 2, is it what we'd like to see? SS5 might not have a king, but the rooster run deep, and their 2 vs 2 team actually knew their stuff. I was be there for the ace match, but AF1 won't go down that easy. Just did really say the 2 vs 2 is pointless. I think what I called it was a distraction, but even that's wrong. Fact is, it counts whether we like it or not. Most teams are we fine coming with cheese beads and gimmicks. We do alright, considering they're finally cutting it next season. That's just a rumor. Sorry about my match. I don't know if you want to run me as a sniper until I can figure out a way to get aggressive on these maps. You're right, I don't. I want to run you on the 2 versus 2. That news hits the entire team as surprise, particularly the current 2 versus 2 Terran buildy. Are you sure? I have no experience with 2 versus 2. You have the right skills and you play the right fa race. We need to shake things up, and I think PZ teams are stronger than TZ teams. Wow, the hell, you're gonna cut me from 2 vs 2 just like that? You can't just throw this on me with no warning. You're always pitching about 2 vs 2. Do you think we weren't listening? It's wrong. In little more than a month under the same roof, I've heard Bulby, Bulby complain non-stop about how 2 vs 2 practice makes it hard to qualify for solo league. Even if I'm throwing this on you, Sun Quan, I'm not unreasonable. If it doesn't work out, you can go back to sniping. Ooh, looking good. If you were fielding Sun Quan, let me try out for the other spot. All eyes turn towards Trae Young when she emerges from the crowd. Even as a murmur breaks out, she doesn't falter. I have experience with 2 vs 2s, as some of you might remember, and I've grown a lot since then. You and Bolt might have some rapport, but Kwang's been committed to 2 vs 2 for more than a year. I can give you the his spot just like that. Uh, actually, I'm fine with it. I want to give qualifying serious shot before retire. I mean, wanting to break it up for a while now. Kwang runs again through his mother's hair with a sheepish grin. No, in that case, I'm glad you did it! Alright, I'm putting you both on the rooster for next week. If you're in the practice room, you're preparing for Team League. Whether you want to make up the time in 1 vs 1 is up to you. I highly recommend it if you two have any intention of qualifying. Yeah, fear 3 attack. Did you secretly recruit them as 2 versus 2 players? A love breaks out. Somehow it feels like it's at Jet's expense. Nah, just good enough for players that step up. You might want to learn from that. <laughs> Our teammate earns his own chorus of jeers as he mumbles something between an excuse and an apology. With the matter settled, Fierce moves on to the last few games his own ace match included. I'm too focused on what the next week is going to be like to pay much attention. On the other side of the room, Jet only catches me staring at her once before crossing her arms and refusing further eye contact. When Fierce concludes the match review, most of the team refuses their plates and sits around the kitchen table. But when Jet finds a seat at one of the many vacant practice stations, I take the one next to her. I thought you hated 2 vs 2. I'm really not up for our little ceremony of insults right now. But proceed. Hey, it isn't right what? I didn't like 2 vs 2 and probably still won't like it. Then why volunteer? Don't tell me it was for me. Would it be so horrible if it was? Oh. It's about writing a wrong. My failure to take 2 vs 2 seriously lost Shock T1 a spot in the Team League final. 
The fans never picked up on it, but that was when the resentment started waving the novelty for my teammates. I'll be honest, if I had to partner up with someone I couldn't count on to help me see this through, I'd have stayed quiet. My heart! Oh my god, my heart! This girl is so great! There's another benefit. It will keep things fair. You'd get a full week ahead with one versus one practice otherwise. <laughs> You're wrong if you think I have an intention of playing by your rules. No Starlink champion takes her place by waiting patiently in line. When do two versus two lessons start? And like I said, I don't have a clue what I'm doing here. Let's start with the basics right now. First off, it's against the rules for both teammates to play as the same race in 2 vs 2. If it was basically every match would be ZZ vs Z. Also that's what all the spectators would say. Z -Z 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 -Z. And that's more or less just because Zerglings are so fast, right? Why not we design maps that negate that advantage? Trust me, they've tried. Anyway, the two best team compositions are Zerg and Protoss and Zerg and Random. Still don't know why the latter is allowed. A third of the time you coin flip Zerg and get a free win, a third of the time you get a turn and probably lose, and the last third of the time the game's on, even a footing. I'm ideologically opposed to a Zerg and Random team comp, so we only worry about it if our opponents try it. Also, a Zerg and Terran team comp might be the weakest viable team comp, but don't artimate, underestimate it. I'm guessing that this is what Fierce was talking about when he mentioned my skill set. Right, it's really, really important that you can handle a rush. Especially since Protoss is here to isolate and pick off. So, what's our game plan? Our styles aren't similar at all. We'll need to scream or ladder to find out for sure, but I already have an idea of how we're going to play. They'll have no idea what to expect. We'll make sure of that. Ah, uh, interesting. You guys made it! Whoa. That's some outfit, by the way. Hey, hey, you know, Jared and Bolt are here! Keep it down! Don't forget, we could get in trouble if KBGA ca type catches wind. Hey, hey, hey sorry! Welcome! <laughs> Dressed for the occasion, I see. <laughs> you missed late registration, by the way. Who's laughing now? We didn't come to play, just to watch and support Miseo, and I guess you too, you know. Gee, thanks. <laughs> You're not gonna enter! Miseo glanced over her shoulder behind her for the first time uh, that I've seen. Golden Zone Fire is absolutely packed. There's at least one pattern for every station, and Ko works frantically to chop down the massive line at his desk. Well, I won't argue, but you can't stop me from being disappointed. You know how long until 8-0-0? Hey, look, look. Negative 3 minutes. Ah, okay, gotta go! Get things started! Talk to you after! She bounced away, Yuna following in less than a hot pursuit, with a flurry of gestures and charisma, Minseo commands the entire confessionation. Also, she has a megaphone. <laughs> well, she's prepared, that's for sure. Her participants, about 30 or so, shuffle around the cafe in search of their first round opponents. Once they're all seated, only a handful are left standing. Axel. Wait, I, isn't this? Wait, I need to. Ah, uh, team eleven, Steam. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Axel was. God damn it! Uh, don't forget. He was in the first game, wasn't he? The MC of the first one. Right. Or am I mistaken? No, it was Mark. Shit. And here I had my hopes up. But Axel was also in the previous game. Oh my god, who were you exactly? Why I don't remember? God damn it.
I hate myself for not remembering that. Anyway, for I might be the only pro swap. Chayong song, long time no see. Have seen around, but remind me of your name. Did you get a buy as well? Sun Kwanli, Bolt, we're not participating. Kids against the KPG heroes. It sure is. That's why you need to enter under another talk, like me. You'd ask. You'd risk your car for a chance at 100,000 won. What about your team? It's not about the money, and I'll support grassroots ev events, no matter what the rules say. Just don't tell on me, okay? That woman's up an entire new lane of luck, but reporting him to steal a win just isn't how I want to do this. If you do aren't here to play, why come? We're friends with the girl running the tournament that came to support her. Oh, you remain sales friends! You know her? Wow, I had no idea. Course, she runs my fun club. Jedi Sherlock. So far, so good. But instead of turning back towards ourselves, something behind me catches Jet's attention. Look, look, that clan is here! One and a half dozen of his clan mates hang back, mostly keeping to themselves. It looks like Yuna is trying to corral them to their matches. <laughs> Why can't we just play here? Because this is the casual play area, and because you guys will find a way to cheat if you don't play in front of the crowd. This bracket is rigged! Why are we all against each other so early? Because you signed up late. Look, if you can't follow the rules, I'm just going to disqualify you. Be cool, man. You won't get three much against the clerk any other way. Huh? This tournament is bigger than we are expecting, so he won't have the time to play. He forfeited already. Ah, God damn it! Means her or other balls on our side about some special match she had a few weeks back. That was her opponent? Yeah, God, what is it with these clans? I'm sure they were as bad as she said, but you're not part of clan. Right. There's a reason why some top players stick around, even once they've gone pro. Never needed one! Uh, where did you get your practice before breaking out the After a moment of hesitation, she throws a thumb in my direction and looks away. Uh, and here you are now. You get stuck inside your own head when you... All you do is practice soccer. Having Chai Yonk around helps me out of it. True, true strategy or balance. Debates are rarely productive, but I never regret having them. That reminds me, F1 and Shocky One throw down this weekend. Think already? We have fears, which means two automatic wins. Even with our terrible two versus T two team, we're still an easy favorite. Something that Jet just said catches Axel attention, just as planned. That's a shame. They don't take it seriously. That and they're always complaining about rushes, probably because they suck at holding them. Hard to blame considering the rumors about 2 vs 2 being cut. It just never took off in terms of popularity or compelling strategies. Be glad you'll take at least one game, but you're still going down. <laughs> sure, sure. You two are clever, but you're not much for me. Points for effort for. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? I've been at this too long. Your amateur mind games won't work on me. In fact, this must mean that you're back on Shock T1's 2 vs 2. Team Chaeyoung, thanks for the info. What? No, I'm not! Don't think I've forgotten to use to exclusive play 2 vs 2. I didn't want to, but maybe, and that isn't the point. Hey, Sung Wan, did she rejoin the 2 vs 2 team? Eh. Uh, no? <laughs> Sung Wan! <laughs> well. I've got to play soon, see ya! I can't believe this! He's good! They're going to study my games now, I'm screwed! Maybe we should just go, I don't want to risk sleeping up again! You won't! He didn't figure it out, I'm your partner, and come on! We're here for Sin Min Seo! We glance in the other direction, looks like she's giving some kind of interview. So, Killer Hua, can you tell us how we prepared for all out attack? Yeah, well, I, be, I guess I played some ladder. Wow, 
Graves! Your opponent, Bonbon, bon, said very much the same thing! What's your impression of him as far as the next game is concerned? Uh, well, I, I didn't really know him at all, so... That's okay, is there anything you'd like to support to your fans before? Miss Opalza squints at her hand and then turns to her upright and shitty position. I catch a glimpse of some black marker scribbles on her palm. Sorry, sorry, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans before we get started? Dude, I don't have fans. Uh, right, well, both players, please shake hands. The two high schoolers meet palms pitifully. I've seen better handshakes from moms practicing with their elementary schoolers for hug one interviews. When they take their seats for the match, Miso steps away in size, how deeply. This is hard. Is it fun? Well, sure, but it's hard to get good answers. I wrote down all the things that the XSL hostess says. I avoided yes or no questions. You're trying, but these guys don't have the media training or personalities to say anything interesting. Don't be mean. I'm being honest, and I've got an idea. Just as the next round is getting underway, Misao calls for the feature players to step towards the front. This time, however, her eyes dart for Yuna instead of her palm. So, Sir Grace, how is it going to be for you to beat Fink? Well, I mean, I should win if I play well. Fink, how do you feel about that? He said it will be easy. <laughs> I've never heard, even heard of Sir Grace. By the way, I'm the best player in the cafe. How does it better? I got faith in Braver a few minutes ago. Huh? On Saturday, I bet. You know, as her approval as the verbal back and forth ignites into a shouting match, and full of eliminated computers and spectators perk up with interest. Missel tries her best to get the info back on track, but the computers storm off for their stations before she can. Mission accomplished. That was horrible, I made them all both, both upset! Maybe, but now it's a grudge match instead of a game between two random amateurs. I can agree with this. It should be possible for games to be entertaining and for everyone to stay respectful. Sorry, Minsel. Not happening. At least with the crowd and players you've got here. The KPJ teaches player how to act, players how to act on the camera so this doesn't happen. I'm not a fan of provocation either, but it's better than t no story for the audience at all. Story? What story? Are you kidding me? You should know this better than one. When the commentators go on and on about defining a player's style and personality, it's not just about informing the audience, but saying the player as a character. How do you know that Fierce and Locke are rivals? Well, duh, they always play as each other, and they're the best Protoss in turn. Faith matched maybe three times this year. And okay, obviously last season's final was a big one, but in the season intros, they always face off with an execrated pose. And not just that, Loki is kind of quiet and fierce is definitely a bit, but those two are not the embodiments of dark and light. But since we feel like they are, it makes their match way more interesting when it finally plays out. It sounds like someone's pulling strength behind the scenes, are we being lied to? I don't think so, the KPGA is honest in their poor trials. Even if they can be hyperbolic, the audience senses that authenticity whether they realize it or not. Pro gaming is really about people. Everything that goes into a match is the sum of one person's experiences versus the sum of another's. Okay, I think I understand. The certainty with which the lowers that line leaves us taken back. Jedi Watch seems a gesture for you now and her cue cards. Soon enough, the next round is underway. After a private word with Axel, Minsel brings him and his opponent to stand before her crowd. Congratulations, man! Man, on making it this far, Zergas! Your next one is Big Boy Bang Bang! I think he, there is no denying that this is going to be a change match for you! Axel smiles cheekily as his tone name is read out. Hey, 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 I'm just happy to play someone as good as him. You mentioned you tried to qualify for Braver. Were you hoping to secure pro gaming licenses? Or just prepare spending for fun? I just want to see how far I could get, I guess. There's no way my parents would let me go pro even if I did win. I'll be a high schooler next year, so I'm not sure I have time to keep playing Starcraft. I see. Hyunki, you know what's about Braver yourself, don't you? Can you tell us about the time you won? <laughs> of course you'd know about that. It must have been 2000, I was just a kid. 
That morning was so cold that my water bottle froze shut. I got to Alex way too early and sat in the hallway for like 30 minutes just trying to keep my hands warm. I get to the finals and I see that I'm against Ak. He's 18 but Scrumin doesn't know a word of Korean. We play a tough set and at the end he chokes and throws away match point. He was beaten up about it. I went over and said something like tomorrow you in English. What? Kind of English in retrospect, I was just trying to be nice. Ah, the very next day he came back and won his license. I'm not sure I had anything to do with it in reality, but I like to think I played a small part in that win and the, but, uh, the royal rolls that followed. That's so cool! How come I've never heard about it? Get busy leaving it out yourself. You just have to go through me first. Looks like these two are eager to get started! Play up, please! Shake hands and go to your stations! Do, do. Say it! You should be thanking me! Come on, say it! You don't like I agreed to this in the first place! Just say it! She needs this! Minsel stands tall, her eyes shining. No one, not even Cole, can deny that smile. Fine, you can do another next month. Woo! Thanks, Mr. Clark! Need some quiet and fresh after all that noise. Watch the place for a minute, will ya? Can do! That was kinda of fun, wasn't it? Man, shut up! We should get back soon, Quan. It will be a problem if we're the last ones home tonight. Oh, well, thanks for coming, you guys! It's obvious enough that I probably don't need to say it, but you both helped me so much! I've got a firm idea of what I need to after I graduate this year! It was a blast, Miss Oh, really brings me back to my peace bank days. Thanks for the invite! Oh, anything for you! I honored you even came! Mm -mm. Wait, where did you not go? Uh, do you have a second? The Clara looks up from a bastard PC with the case open, exhausted. Missile's success has clearly taken its toll on him. He already said she could run another. No, 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 not that. I want some advice, I guess. Eh, uh, what's on your mind? Well, I've been reading some of the books you suggested. I met the part about alienation. What little I understood resonated with me. I don't blame you for your hard to read. That's its own problem, but what I'm asking is what I should do about it. Uh, you're doing something about it right now. You were alienated from your ability to determine what to study in school, so you went and studied something on your own. That feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, but I can't read red books all day and get to where I need to. That's right, you can't. It's not self-help, if that's what you're after. Then find some allies. You're weaker when you're isolated. I already know that, and it's not helping. What were you doing at my age? Give me someone to compare myself with. Ah, uh, well, I was angry when I was your age. Even for that, what we were up against deserve all that anger. It got us nowhere. We lost. There's nothing romantic about it. Nothing worth emulating. You work hard and you're good at what you do, your suffering has a good chance of paying off in the end. That ain't the case for most people. You know, there you are! We're gonna get dinner! Welcome! Right behind ya. I guess this is the good moment to end the episode. The tournament was success. She will be holding another one next month. Feel free to join if you're around. Maybe it's still going, right? Anywho, um, we shall continue to know tomorrow. We'll see where this is going. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.